Welcome to Diva Talk. My name is Mary May. Oh, and I'm Mary Margaret. And a lot of you on MySpace have sent us questions. So we'd like to take this time to um, answer a few of them. So why don't you start, Mary Margaret? Okay. Don't you need your glasses, honey? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't see a thing either. I'm just too drunk or... Lord. Well, the show just started. I hope you're not too drunk. I hope not either. Of course, she started at 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to get never too early to drink. Okay. Mary, Mary, do you two have any plans to do on-the-site shoots? Well, you know, that's something that we've thought about, but there's a Securing lot... a location is kind of difficult. There's a lot of things involved with that. Because you have to get the permission, then you gotta get, you know, signatures signed and all that crap. But we are thinking about doing a cooking segment. So, we'll see. You never know. Stay tuned. And let's see. This one comes from Robert. Robert. Hey, Mary and Mary. Where did you two first meet? Uh, for me, it's kind of hazy. I think I was drunk. Well, you know, Robert, if you ever watch the show, you know that we are a sister. Yes. Different mothers. Yes. Different models. Same so, you know, we grew up on and off, you know, with each other because, you know, we are step sisters, basically. But we do get along rather well from time to time. Yeah, we have our moments. Okay. Well, uh, Mary May, what is your favorite late night snack? My favorite, favorite late night snack would have to be cheese sticks. And you're going to say that because that's mine too. Cheese sticks. Okay. Wow. Gee, I have a friend with this name. This is fabulous. Mary Margaret, do you have a drinking problem? Roberta. No, I, I have no idea what you mean. Um, oh, but hey, don't worry, Mary. Uh, I brought one for you, too. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Uh. And how do you expect me to drink that? Oh, well. I've got something around here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Well, oh, obviously, heck. flighty bitch forgot it. Yes, Let's get I back did. to the questions. Oh, well. Oh, well, shit. I can't find... Well, you're just going to have to... Have Do to you want me to read the next question? No, it's okay. But uh, it's kind of difficult for me to drink out of this thing, so... I had to improvise. Uh, Your straws weren't big enough. Go figure. I think I had a shovel for you, too. Okay, that went out. All right. Mary May. What is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> oh, right. Good okay. Lord. Mary May, how many sons do you have? Well, funny Joe. story. I actually only have two sons. This first one was from Jennifer. Mary May wanted to do a nice snack. Jamie wanted to know it. If you're planning doing it on the side of shoots. I'm a little behind. <laughs> yes, yes. But anyways, back to the question. I really only have two sons. You know, we've got Kyle and we've got Joe. Um, they're both adopted and they're both sweet. You know, one we see more than the other because the other one's, you know, on its own and everything. But that's about it. We only have two. And the next question is for Mary Margaret. Mary Margaret. How can you sit next to Mary May even though she is such a bitch? Liz. Liz, I have no idea what you're talking about. Liz, I think it helps because I'm drunk most of the time that I'm next to the rotting old bitch. Besides, out of most of the people that we know, she treats me the best. Mm. Okay. Mary May. I was so totally wondering if... What... Oh, okay. I was, like I said... <laughs> She's got to focus. Hold on, people. She's got to focus. <laughs> yeah, I'm focusing on this. It's kind of hard. You know, alcohol is my first true love. Anyways. That's a good thing. Anyways. <laughs> Shit. Okay. But anyway, I was so totally wondering, what flipped over your shoulder at the end of the second episode of Deep Talk? Oh, my Dijon. goodness. Or is it Dijon? I have no idea. Was that like the mustard? Thank you, whatever your name is. Um, actually, what actually flicked over my shoulder 
was my fake nail mm -hmm. that I... And the bitch here yeah. was saying, oh, well, Stefan was on the show, and she and she's like, I was trying to get him to drink a drink, and he's like, oh, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm like, drink it. He's like, no, I'm okay, I'm like, drink the freaking drink. And he's like, okay, okay, and she's like, don't worry, or I'm like, if you don't do it, I'll stab you. And she's like, don't worry, they'll break off halfway in. And it, yet she's the one who lost the nail trying to open up a bottle of alcohol. Mm-hmm. Go <laughs> figure. Okay. This one. Mary Margaret. Are there any relationships for you on the horizon? Love, Bobby. Well, Bobby. Mm-hmm. I Whitney Houston, bitch. Okay. Bobby! What? Whitney? Anyways. Well, Bobby. <clears throat> Funny story. I was sort of just in a relationship recently, and... Men suck and they should die. Next question. Anyways. Mary May, how do you deal with someone so stupid? Mm. I mean, so flighty as Mary Margaret. Tony. Well, you know, it's quite a diff difficult at some times, but, you know, you deal with it a lot. Okay, Mary and Mary. Okay. Which one of you is older? Paul. Next well, Paul, question. <laughs> we'll skip your question and go somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Paul. Anyways, <clears throat> Mary May, when did you first meet your husband, Suzette? Well, Suzette, I first met my husband almost seven years ago, and it's been a fabulous time the whole time. <clears throat> Bitch, the question said, where? Where? Oh, well, you know, Miss Drunk and I misunderstood her. Oh, I said it pretty clearly. <laughs> maybe, you should, maybe you should start drinking. <laughs> maybe I'd understand her. Um, well, where I met him was actually in a chat room. And, you know, we met online. Mm, and so the first thing, you know, people. first thing, you know, our communication was, you know, oh, wow, we, you're the same weight as me. And, you know, I was like, oh, you had me at weight. You know. Oh, well, speaking of weight, <laughs> we're the same weight, and yet she's heavier and shorter than me. Whatever. I think she's pregnant. Let's see. Mary Margaret, you said you used to you used to be a sister, and that you slept with a priest. How did that happen? Bertha. <laughs> well, Bertha. It's actually kind of a funny story. <laughs> I was back in the back chapel after one of the sermons, and I was, you know, cleaning up this little, um, like... I don't know, it's not, not like a chest, but it's like a, a table against the wall. What is it called? Is that a table? <laughs> <laughs> you need help me here. Is that what you would call it? <coughs> are you talking, what, what are you talking about? Well, it's a table up against the wall, is that? Yeah. Are you talking about the altar? Yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> Behind the wall. Anyway, so this is, I was next, mixing around, messing around <laughs> with some rosaries, trying to put them away and straighten them up, and one of them fell behind the table. So I bent over to go pick it up. Next thing I know, I'm being stuffed up the butt by a priest. And I'm like, well, you know, hell, this isn't half bad. <laughs> so ever since that point on, I'm like, well, you know what? I'll just stick with it. And I, you know, I probably didn't say anything because he was, you know, a priest and I was getting some. And he probably thought I was an altar boy anyways. 